Hi, and welcome to B-Town Talk. I am your host, Dawn Davis. You know, recycling is the law here in Pennsylvania and in just about every municipality in Pennsylvania, and Ben Salem is no exception. Recently, we've been receiving a flood of phone calls concerning, and if you're a baby boomer, you're going to know what a console television is, or your fat backs, or your projection TVs. You're going to know what they are. They are certainly not like our current beautiful flat screen televisions. Well, no longer can those televisions be placed, or computers, keyboards, and their accessories be placed at curbside. Your hauler, your trash hauler that you pay usually every quarter will no longer pick up those items. And this is um, a result of some new legislation that was adopted in January of this year under what they're calling the Covered Recycling Device Act, or Covered Device Recycling Act. Now, when legislation is adopted, it does take some time for it to trickle down and for it to be, uh, let's say, adapted and for people to get the information. Well, we wanted to give you that information today only because of the fact that people are so confused as to what they can or cannot put out at curbside. You, as stated earlier, you cannot put them out at curbside and there's really not a lot of options, unfortunately. There are paid options. What you can do is there are about, a, when I Googled it, there are about 198 recycling uh, places within Ben Salem, Bucks County, perhaps the Philadelphia borders. And like I said, you can get them by Googling. There's a lot of phone numbers and a lot of addresses. Now, this leg legislation, of course, comes from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Department of Environmental Protection. And you'll see on your screen that we're just going to be chock full of websites and phone numbers so that you can be an educated consumer when it comes to disposing of these unwanted electronics. Now, here in Ben Salem, we are going to have our own electronic, just electronics now, not hazardous, that's a whole different ball game, where the county's combining both, we're doing one, and that will be on Saturday, May 4th, hopefully to be really nice by then. It'll be at our Public Works building, which is located at 3800 Humeville Road, but it's really Humeville and Byberry. You'll see the signage, you'll be able to pull in, you pull into the garage bays, uh, it's E-Force Recycling that we are partnering with, and they will have people there to help the residents to unload the items. And like I said, recycling isn't just a, an option or, or an alternative. It is the law. The TV will sit out there for weeks. No one's going to pick it up. And, of course, that is unsightly. Your neighbors aren't going to like it, and, you know, you need to dispose of it properly. You know, it's, it's just like anything else. It's not free anymore. There's change. People don't like change. And uh, I believe, well, I know, doing some research, that it's about $30 to call one of the electronic recycling vendors of your choice. And I called about seven, and they were all in the range of $30 to have that unwanted console or projection television removed. So there you have it, and, and Darren will post some information on there. Uh, also computers, don't forget about the computers, and um, we will put, uh, let's just say within 24 hours of, the, of this show, we'll put the Covered Device Recycling Act in of itself on our website, just if you want to take a look at it, it's 14 pages long and you can read the in-depth explanation, and it's quite comprehensive. That's it. I'm Dawn Davis for B-Town Talk, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.